What's going on people? Ben here from Bateman Talks Tottenham, back with another video today with my aunt Jill. Hiya. Where today we'll be previewing the Sheffield United game, which we'll be at tomorrow, providing you with a match day vlog. But we'll start with the news today of James Madison, who has been given Premier League Player of the Month, and Anne Foster Coglu, who has been awarded Premier League Manager of the Month, which I think is very reflective of our great start to the season, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Both of them extremely well-deserved. Yeah, news. hopefully it's not the typical curse of Manager of the Month that often happens, but you know what they say, every time there's a curse, it has to be broken eventually. Absolutely, yeah. And as I say, couldn't be more well-deserved, really, could they? Oh yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I'll be honest... I wasn't expecting to get the sort of manager in the month. I would have seen maybe people go, Pep won four out of four. But maybe people have gone for something different because City kind of always win it. And you could argue, could Pep win the manager of the month every month? So yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, proportionately, what Andrew's achieved, yeah. probably greater than what Pep yeah, has achieved. Yeah, definitely. And City, to be fair, haven't looked the best in a lot of their games, where Spurs have actually looked very encouraging. So it's, you'd argue probably the right decision. But Definitely. moving on to Andrew's press conference where he's said that people like Benson Core are in sort of early stages of getting back on the pitch and the same with Alejo Valise. He's sort of starting to be back training with the team that Alejo Valise supposedly had an injury when he started at the club, which we hadn't really heard about. We'd been told he was wasn't going to be involved until later in the year, but it sounds like he's slightly backtracking on that, doesn't that it? That does sound. I mean, yeah, he'd very much said don't expect to see him this half of mm. the season, hadn't he, the first half of the yeah. season, and to now be saying actually... He's available. That's, yeah, interesting, great, great news. Yeah. Um, if he thinks he's ready, he must be, mustn't he? Yeah, but other than that, team news, there isn't much other than the Benton Core long-term and Sessing on, etc. With Benton Core finally having some time on the pitch, but not properly, and Ange said that he was a bit exhausted after not that long and which you can expect sure. after such a big injury and that they had to pull him out after half an hour which he wasn't too pleased with but no it's part of rehab isn't it yeah I mean there was something a couple of weeks ago wasn't there when he was desperate to get back on the pitch yeah. and they were having to say to him hold your horses yeah. a bit and it's also very nice to have everyone back from the international yeah. break Unharmed. uninjured yeah. <laughs> always yeah. a relief so yeah that's a right result because we've been unlucky yeah. In yeah, the past particularly few also with the, some of the tackles that have been on players like Romero, that horrific red card challenge that yeah. was on Romero. So you could argue maybe we're lucky. And the only other slight doubt, well, not a doubt, confirmed injury for this weekend is Lacelso. But I wouldn't think that's going to affect things too badly, and considering Madison's not injured no. and that he should be back for the North London derby in a week's time, which isn't exactly a game I think we're going to be looking forward to. No, no, let's take all the positives. It's been a brilliant start yeah. to the season. We've got a game tomorrow that hopefully will get some good result. Yeah. And then obviously the Arsenal and the yeah. Liverpool matches are going to be our strictest yeah, test yet, aren't they? The best way to think about it is to take each game as it comes and just worry about next yeah. week. Let's when enjoy it tomorrow to... first and see yeah. what happens. We've just got to pray we don't get any injuries for this big upcoming fixture list we've got yeah. in, in terms of centre-backs in particular and did say that we are tight at centre-back and Sanchez moving away it was a great opportunity for him to be on a longer contract yeah. and uh, the rebuild's never going to happen in one window but they probably needed one more centre-back but he does believe they've got players that can play there you'd expect like Ben Davis filling in there yeah. not that we particularly want him to be filling in there but and people like Eric Dyer but then it sounds like Ashley Phillips also is higher in the pecking order it sounds like he's placing a lot of faith in Phillips given that he's had yeah. no Premier League experience as yet um, he's obviously seeing something in him in training yeah. that is warranting him getting in the squad ahead of Dyer so mm. far um, yeah. and so it's nice to have a manager now who is willing to put mm. his faith in the youngsters rather than Definitely. it has to be the old guard. It has to be, you know, we're not going to... Got to move on back. eventually. Yeah, and so that's really encouraging. And he obviously thinks Phillips can do a job for us if he needs to. Yeah, and then finally on players in the press conference, he was also asked about Richarlison, who has openly said that he struggled sort of psychologically over the international break. And he said that he went on a bit of a speech about mental health and saying everyone has ups and downs in their lives and... It's good that Richarlison's talking about it and that the club will help him in any possible way they can. Do I think this is going to suddenly make him an amazing player? No, because I personally don't think it is. But we know he's a lot better of a player than we have seen so far. And Absolutely. And that hopefully it can try and bring that out of him. 
For sure. And I think he seems to be a player who responds to maybe having an armpit around his shoulder yeah. and being a bit nurtured rather than... Confidence player. Yeah. So, that, and I think Andrew's the right person to do that. I'd be more concerned if we still had Conte or Mourinho there that mm. less likely to be that sort of supportive person, it felt yeah. like. So Some players need different treatment. Exactly. I think, so I think he's probably got the right boss there and all we can do is hope that he comes good with a bit yeah. of support. Yeah. Well, hopefully all this news can lead to a positive result tomorrow against Sheffield United. Have you got a score prediction? We're going to win, I think. Um, 3-1 would be nice. Yeah, well, you kind of nicked my score prediction there. <laughs> I, I was going to say 3-1, but I'll go with 3-0 and seem a little bit more optimistic. But hopefully, and we'll provide you with a match day vlog tomorrow of the game as we will be there. But thank you for watching me and my Aunt Jill and Bateman Talks Tottenham. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs! Spurs!